Good morning, Internet. This is the old fat dad, and let me show you what I got for you today. Lately on the Internet, I've been seeing a lot of guys shooting cast iron pans. Well, I like my cast iron pan too much, so I'm going to shoot this pot here my wife gave me. It's all old and busted, and she wanted to get rid of it anyways, so instead of throwing it away, I said, let me, uh, let me take a crack at it, old hot wifey. This is a scan pan pot, and it's got the words titanium and ceramic on it, so maybe it's really hard. I don't know. We're going to try it out with a couple different calibers and see what happens. Here is my lineup. I'm going to start on this end with some subsonic CCI standard velocity 22 ammo. I'm going to move it up to the blazer, which is going about 1,200 feet per second. Standard velocity is about 1070 feet per second. And then I got these sexy Winchester 9mm jacketed hollow points, 115 grains. We're going to take a clonk on it with those things, see if it goes through. And then move up to some SMB 9mm 115 grain full metal jackets. They like to punch through a little bit harder than those hollow points. And just for a little bit of overkill, nothing else goes through, and even if it does, we'll smack it with this. SMB 6.5 Creed more. We're gonna give it a shot. See what happens. Should be a good bit of fun. First up, CCI standard velocity. Looks like that standard velocity just put a little dent in it. Let's move up to the blazer. Even a smaller dent with a blazer. So my wife's fancy pan is stronger than a 22 bullet. Let's move up to the 9mm. Alright, we got that Winchester 115 grain 9mm hollow point. Here we go. Pretty neat, there it is. Didn't go through. This pan's pretty tough. Got a nice bulge on the back side. I don't know. Whoop. You can see that. But uh did not go through. Tough little pan. Can handle a hollow point 9 mm Alright, we're moving up to the full metal jacket. 9 mm 115 grain. This band is tough. Full metal jacket, 9 millimeter, 115 grain. Whacked it pretty good, but uh, no penetration. Pretty darn neat. All right, we're gonna go for the overkill. We're moving up to the 6.5 Creedmoor. All right, 140 grain, full metal jacket, 6.5 Creedmoor out of the uh, AR-10. Well, I guess that was pretty predictable results. 6.5 Creedmoor sailed right on through there. All right, one more time with that 6.5 Creedmoor. Put the pan on its side. I'm gonna shoot through both sides of that pan. And let's see what happens then.
Okay, this is pretty neat. Here's where it went in there, and uh, here's where it came out, and that handle got blown off there <laughs> on the way out. And it really uh, did a number on this handle. I don't know if that bullet like whacked it a couple times, it was spinning around, but uh, that's pretty neat. This is a tough little pan, pretty cool. All right, I wanna do one more shot with this thing since we got that 6.5 out. I'm gonna put the lid on, and it's a stainless steel lid, and we'll shoot it with the lid on. Let's see what happens. The lid didn't slow that bad boy down at 6.5 Creedmoor. Went right through. Definitely not 6.5 Creedmoor proof. Hmm, I lied. I want to shoot this some more. Let me shoot the lid with the 22 blazers. Twenty-two versus the lid of the scan pan pot. Twenty-two wins. Interesting results with the uh, twenty-two blazers in the side of this pot. Definitely not bulletproof on the side. The butt or the bottom? Is it butt or bottom? Bottom. Bottom can take a. Uh, <laughs> I bet your bottom can take a twenty-two. The bottom. The bottom can definitely stop a nine millimeter. And it can stop a 22. Not a rifle round though. So if you're in the kitchen, some bad guy comes at you, and the closest thing you got to grab is a uh, fancy pot. It'll do the trick as long as he doesn't have a rifle, I think. Well, as long as he's got a 9mm or a 22, I guess I should say. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks a lot.